Welcome back, YouTube pipe smokers, to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you on a Friday morning. And uh, as usual, Fridays are my off days, or they're not really. I don't feel like I typically have a full off day, but uh, Fridays are the days I definitely spend at home primarily and, and work from home in my office, kind of finishing up paperwork for the weekend for, for Sundays, my sermon prep and uh, extra reading, things like that. So... Uh, kind of as a side note, um, where most people or a lot of people have off the weekends, um, as a pastor, I work Sunday all day, essentially, in, in a way. And so I take usually Saturdays, half days off on Saturdays, and then Fridays are kind of just more relaxing days where I'm doing a lot of work at the desk. I'm not out visiting folks so much unless there's a great need. Uh, but anyway, that's just kind of an inside, um, inside note. Uh, so this morning, I'm coming with you with another fall edition pipe review, and today we are reviewing a well-known blend. Uh, this is not a great-looking jar, but this is Autumn Evening, by the way, uh, and this is about a year years of age Autumn Evening by Cornell and Deal. Uh, I probably won't smoke, you know, I have a full jar here. When I bought it, I think I bought four ounces, and this will probably last me quite a while. Uh, just getting, as a side note. Uh, so we are going to be touching on these more fall edition blends uh, as we're hitting that season. And in fact, this morning, uh, I am enjoying this more than usual because we had a cold front come in a couple days ago. And this, of course, is a Texas cold front. And our temperatures dropped in the high 50s in the early mornings. And uh, we're getting up to the low 80s, I guess, uh, during the day. And it won't last long. Uh, it'll probably go away in about 10 days. Um, slowly, the, the, the lows are, are rising um, little by little. But this is very abnormal, even for Texas, uh, or especially for Texas, I should say. And, and, and I'm enjoying it, though. I'm pulling out some of my fall blends or my cooler weather smoking blends. And, and, and this is a great opportunity to review autumn evening and enjoy it. So, uh, so to get into the review, I, I do want to let you know I'm smoking it out of my Savinelli Roma. Uh, this is a pipe that I recently designated for aromatics. So I now have two aromatic pipes in my 8, 16, 17 rotation. I actually have one extra pipe that now I'm smoking in my... I used to only have 16 pipe rotation, which I said I'll never have more than 16. Um, I kind of actually have 17 now because I, I'm using my uh, Peterson, an old Peterson estate pipe uh, that I, I usually use for aromatics. Uh, I'm using it more and more. So I essentially do have 17 pipes for in my rotation. Uh, but this is one I recently put to aromatics as I am smoking a little bit more aromatics in the fall as we're slowly getting into the fall. So I'm, I am smoking out of this. Now, to give you some background on... Uh, on autumn evening, I'm not really going to show you much of the of the cut as far as what it looks like because it just looks brown, Cavendish, some lighter. Uh, well, I guess I am showing you. You'll see some light Virginias in there, uh, but it's primarily just a Virginia Cavendish blend and nothing really fancy to look at. Um, nothing special. So to give you a little bit of background on the blend, and again, I think most of you already know this blend. It's really well touted, well known. Uh, the uh, Chris Tar Tarler and Jeremy Reeves, who work at Cornell and Deal, they're like the main master mixers or whatever the term is they use. Uh, they say that this is the top seller at Cornell and Deal. So Cornell and Deal has like 250 blends, and I don't think they're all out at one time, but this is the top seller of all of those. Uh, so just bear in mind, it's, it's well known, and I think you know that, uh, or most of you probably do. So this is the description for it. Our propri proprietary Red Virginia Cavendish is lightly cased with a delicate maple flavor resulting in our best-selling aromatic blend. The smoker will appreciate the taste of Virginia's while those around will flock to the warm, inviting fragrance. So blended by Craig Tar Tarler, manufactured by Cornell and Dill, it's an aromatic Cavendish Virginia, like I mentioned, is the main ingredients or contents. So flavoring, this is a wallop. Fruit. Citrus, maple, rum, sweet sugar. It actually has sweet slash sugar. 
uh, vanilla whiskey. Uh, the cut is a coarse cut. It, it's not ribbon. Um, it is quite coarse. Um, so it's kind of a ribbonish coarse cut. Uh, it does come in two ounce tins, um, eight ounce, uh, eight ounce, 16 ounce tins, and then bulk. By the way, I did buy mine in bulk. I have not bought this in tins. I don't know what it comes like when it comes to moisture level. So bear that in mind. And it's available everywhere. I don't think any, I think everyone has it essentially. Probably even a lot of your local tobacconists are going to have this more than likely because it's so popular. Strength is mild. Flavoring is medium. To taste, mild to medium. Room note, very pleasant. So this is all tobaccoreviews.com as usual. And by the way, every note there I just hit uh, or statistic, that's how I graded it. Um, mild strength, medium flavor, mild to medium taste, very pleasant. That's that's what I labeled them at my, myself. So with that said, let's go ahead and light it up. I have been smoking this already for a bit this morning. So I, I smoke, like I said, I smoked this last year when I got it in for most of the fall season, and I've only smoked it maybe twice this fall, and I smoked it maybe once in the spring. And I am drinking with it just cold black coffee, by, or hot coffee, by the way. I think it goes well with black coffee. If if you're interested in pairing, uh, a lot of my blends I pair with with teas. Uh, this one is great with just black coffee. Let me get into prep. Uh, so when prepping, uh, surprisingly, this blend came quite dry. And no, and let me kind of uh, give a caveat to that or, or explain further. It's not a dry blend like you're gonna have to 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 re-moisten it or rehydrate it. It's not that dry. Uh, it's dry for an aromatic. And I bought it in bulk, so maybe you guys who have it in tins or if you're gonna go buy it in a tin, it may be even wetter, I don't know. But at least with my bulk purchase, I remember getting it then and it was fairly bulk or fairly dry and right now it's fairly, on the, it's on the dry side. Um, so it's not too dry. I'm not saying you need to rehydrate it, but it is on the dry side for an aromatic. So, not much has changed on my review on this since I first smoked it. Uh, maple is your predominant topping. It's just it's just maple. Uh, it's like you're smoking a semi-sweet stack of, of pancakes. And I, I listed all of those flavorings that it apparently has. Uh, citrus, maple, sh sugar, whiskey, whatever else it was. I don't even remember now. Uh... Uh, vanilla whiskey, maple rum, rum, a lot of things going on there. Uh, I don't taste any of those except maybe vanilla at times and maybe rum or whiskey and probably the whisk or probably the rum uh, with my, it's been a while since I've drunk or I've, I've had a, had a bit of rum, but I, I think it, that's, that's what's coming out more than anything. But the. The other flavors, other than maybe like that sugary sweetness uh, casing, nothing else appears other than that in, in the rum, or excuse me, in the maple. Uh, I, I, maybe the vanilla appears at times. So as you would expect, the room note is great. It, it's a great room note, especially for the fall season. It's it's great. Uh, uh, it's, it's not going to offend anyone, I don't believe. Uh, it's not overbearing on sweetness. So this is not a goopy. I, I like this. It's not goopy. And it's not overly sweet. Um, it is like a semi... It's like if you slightly drizzled maple syrup on some pancakes. And so it's not like runny. Maybe like soaked into the pancake or the waffle. And so you can taste the maple syrup, but it's... Maybe for a lot of people, like you really want that syrup poured all over your pancakes. 
it's not that. It's it's like it soaked it all up, and, and that's what you have there. So um, I like that in the blend. I don't like overly sweet aromatics. Nick, uh, the Nick hit or nicotine levels low. You're not gonna uh, you're gonna have any issues. It can be an all day smoke for that. Uh, so I enjoy this blend. You know, getting down to what I think of it, I enjoy this blend. Uh, it, it's it's it definitely hits the the maple department. I mean, that is that itself is is great. Um, that's coming forward. I wouldn't care to smoke this any other time of the year other than the fall. Uh, like I said, I smoked it once in the spring just to kind of have something different, and eh, it didn't do anything for me. Um, the mapley note is just for, I mean, what, what the name gives you, autumn evening. Um, this is a autumn day, autumn evening, morning, whatever. This is an autumn smoke or a fall smoke when the weather gets crisp. That's the only time I personally enjoy it. Obviously, that's not the case because it's for everyone because it's really, um, it's a high seller and apparently people buy it all the time. Um, it's not for me uh, as far as all, all year round. Um, I, I wouldn't care for this outside of the fall season. So uh, the, the Sutliff pumpkin spice that I reviewed would be closer to an all year smoke than this. And even then, I don't think I would smoke that all year as well. Uh, it's a solid blend. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite aromatic. It's not my favorite fall aromatic, even maybe, I guess. I don't know about that. Um, I haven't tried a lot of like seasonal blends for the fall when it comes to aromatics. Um, the pumpkin spice. Um, I, I, I mentioned that the GLP's vanilla cream is kind of reminds me like a fallish blend, though it's not. Um, it's, the, it's not, it's not marketed that way. Uh, but I probably would pick, I think, the pumpkin spice over this one for a fall season. Once again, a lot of people love it. So maybe for you, it, it would be a top one for you. Um, but it's definitely a great choice for the crisp autumn days. And, and it, it's definitely enjoyable during this time. So uh, I, I'll, I'll have it on hand during the fall season. And I'll pick at it, you know, once a week or so, maybe twice a week. Uh, between that and the pumpkin spice, those will be my two main aromatics for the fall season. Um, out of a score of 1 through 10, I'd probably give it a 6. I think I gave, uh, if I remember correctly, I think I gave the pumpkin, uh, subtle pumpkin spice like a 6.5 or 7, somewhere around there. So this one is just a, it, it, it is below that. I think the pumpkin spice has a little bit more distinctness of, of flavorings. Um, I think it offers a little bit more... It has no maple syrup, but it definitely offers more, it seems, of a of a fall uh, amalgamation of flavoring of nutmeg and cinnamon and things like that, where this one doesn't so much have that. So that's where I put this one. Uh, guys, I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you if you get it, and let me know in the comments your thoughts on it. Um, is it a one of your favorites? Do you not like it at all? Let me know. And uh, and I, I, nonetheless, I do think it will be a, a decent choice for you in the fall season. So guys, I hope y'all have a great weekend. I hope you uh, are staying safe, you're blessed, and uh, next week we'll come back with you for another discussion and then a tobacco review, Lord willing. So y'all take care and hope to talk to you soon.